These are some muffins my mom made earlier. They smell so good. Hey guys, welcome back. We are gonna make a midnight snack. It's not even midnight, it's just really late at night, but whatever. And I'm actually so excited for this video because I know exactly what I'm gonna make. We're gonna make a grilled cheese. I think I have one video that I filmed where I've cooked in it and you guys already know I'm a master chef. Shoot, shoot, oh shoot. Wait, where's the- shoot. They're burnt to a crisp. Look at the- you can do better than this, you see? Look at those things. They're roasted toasted. Okay, let's get our ingredients out. A pan, a plate, mayonnaise, mustard, bread, some butter, ignore how crusty the butter dish looks, and of course, the cheese. I absolutely love cheese. Step one, we're gonna put the bread on the plate and butter, one side of each bread. So like, butter and then butter. Tell me why there's like bobby pins on our counter. like this look how dark it is outside Ugh. all right next we're gonna take the mustard and the mayo and on one piece of bread we're gonna put the mustard and on the other slice of bread we're gonna put the mayo when i tell most people that i have like mayo and um mustard on my grilled cheeses they think that's weird but i think it's normal that's how my mom has always made the grilled cheeses so that's how i made the grilled cheeses and it honestly tastes good like don't judge it unless you've had it okay i may have put a little too much mustard because like there's extra there but that's okay, it'll just be a little more flavorful. <laughs> okay, now we add the cheese. Okay, so I like to take two slices of cheese and I just put one on each slice of bread. Here we go. We're gonna put the pan on the stove first. Uh, I actually have no clue what temperature to put it at, but we're just gonna do four and hope that's a good guess. Okay, we're gonna take the bread and the butter side. Just, there we go. Okay, now we take our other piece of bread and the mustard side, we put down. Perfect. Now we just have to hope I don't burn this because what always happens when I make grilled cheeses is I burn them. So we're gonna be really, really careful and cautious with this one because I don't wanna burn it. I don't know how long I should leave that there. <gasps> oh, you're kidding. What? I want you to all know that I was literally praying that this thing didn't get burnt. Got the spatula. Okay, I'm just gonna check it now. Because if this thing is it already burnt, if it's already burnt, I don't cry. Okay. Okay. I got a little cheese right there, but that's okay. You guys, I just wanna show you real quick. It is snowing out. Okay, like here's the outside right now. You can see the snow on the ground. It's November 13th and it's literally snowing out. It's this little corner right here that I want to cook a little more. So I'm just gonna like, <laughs> I'm just gonna like press down on that part. Okay. Okay, that is good. This is a perfect grilled cheese, guys. Look at that. Okay, now we're gonna do a little sit down and eat with me. Eating this delicious grilled cheese it's pretty good you know i was asking my friends at school today what i should film for my next youtube video because i've been like lagging on posting a little bit 
and I think I told them I was gonna do a night routine, but plot twist, we're cooking this. Honestly, I think I'd rate it a seven and a half out of 10. Pretty good. Christmas is coming up more than a month away, but like it's still coming up. People are already in the season. Oh my gosh, look at this giant paper clip. Who's gonna tell her?